What's up, in dudes? Peter Von Panda here. You guys gonna get together on Memorial Day? Do a little barbecue, little picnic? Well, hey, I picked these up on Amazon. I was kind of curious about them. You can always use disposable plates. These are 10 inches, so they're pretty big. Uh, and there are 50 of them in here. But the cool thing about these is that they say they're 100% biodegradable and compostable. Compostable. Gluten-free. Made from plant fibers. Uh, chlorine, bleach, and dye free. So, enacogoods.com is where you can pick them up. But, like I said, got them on Amazon. Uh, they have a little bit of a brown tint to them. I thought I'd just check it out and see what compostable, compostable, biodegradable plates look like. And the thing is, they're obviously going to have to degrade over longer periods of time because <laughs> you don't want to put your food on it and then have the thing dissolve, right? I don't. So, here we go. Um, you know, in terms of material, they kind of look a little bit like, um, like a manila folder type <laughs> material, and they almost feel like that. They're, they have pretty good shape, and obviously some texturing there, but they're not as stiff as a chinette. They're definitely, and I think mostly because of the kind of the shape and form of them, they're stiffer than maybe your your flatter, just cheaper paper plates. So this is kind of a step up in that, you know, you could hold things and put something on it without it necessarily collapsing on you. Uh, let's take this little uh, smartwatch box, it's empty. But I could put it on there and have plenty of, you know, structure. But you can definitely feel that the material is thinner than like that typical China, which tends to be, I don't know, kind of feels more like cardboard in some ways. Uh, the top is pretty smooth, so I would expect it to be fairly resistant to, you know, liquids and grease and moisture. But then obviously, uh, you can throw these out on your lawn and eventually they'll disappear. Now, the thing that I'm most interested in is kind of how they do over the long term. So what I thought I'd do is actually grab a little tub of water throw this in there and just let it sit for a little while and see what happens are you curious about that i kind of am let's try it out guys okay, so grab this little tub of water here little tub filled it with a inch or so of water and it's not exactly a super scientific experiment but i just thought i'd take the plate and throw it in there kind of doesn't fit great <laughs> but just curious how it'll do. Obviously a dunking hasn't really changed. See the water beads up there a little bit so like I said you don't have to worry about it maybe kind of dissolving right underneath your food. But I thought I'd throw it under there and see how this little green plate goes. I'm hoping it doesn't dissolve too quickly, otherwise that's going to make me not want to use these on picnics, but we'll give it a little time to simmer in there and then come back and check on it again. All right, guys, so it's been 48 hours since I put this plate into this tub of water, and as you can see, it still looks like a plate. So I trust that it's biodegradable, disposable, compostable, and probably better for the environment maybe than regular paper plates it's definitely floppy but it's obviously holding up a bit shape so uh, you know under the couple hours of using this for your barbecue or your memorial day picnic uh, you don't have to worry about them dissolving into nothing that's for sure but at least you know the components of it and the constituents of it can go back to the earth in their form now that being said I know it's easy to oversimplify and say it's stuff like this is green. Well, I don't know if they are uh, burning coal and murdering kittens to manufacture these. So I can't attest to that. But if you want to be able to take the plates from your barbecue and throw them into your compost pile in the backyard, you can do it with this. There it is. Peter from Panda. Out.